Hey everyone, Cool here, and this is Q&A video number 9. I'm playing From Dust, which is uh, an arcade game. It's pretty awesome, so hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. For those of you that have never seen one of these videos, and you don't know uh, what it's about, um, you can go to my website, gameheads.com slash ask. Ask your questions, and I'll answer it in a video. So let's go. Question number one is, why weren't you in Call of the Community? Good question, why wasn't I? Um, I guess the other commentators don't like me enough to in to involve me in their their stuff, so I was not invited, and I was not uh, you know chosen, and it and it sucks. Two plus two equals question mark. Two plus two equals four. So how did you Mart? How did you and Martin and Nate meet? I uh, I really don't know. <laughs> um, I just know that uh, we've been friends for for a long time now, and uh, and yes, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure. You'd have to ask Martin. I think he knows, but I'm not sure. When Modern Warfare 3 come out, can I play with you on PS3? Uh, sure. Hey, Corey, big fan for at least a year now, but I have a question. What are your thoughts on survival mode for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3? Is this just a remake of Zombies or bring something new to the table? Please reply, thanks. And, uh, person, you actually have good grammar, and so I applaud you on being good in school. <laughs> um, survival mode, what I've heard is it's kind of like Zombies, except for it's not... It's just going to be horde mode, kind of, and there's going to be a lot of things. So if you guys enjoy playing horde, I think that's Gears of War, actually. If you in mind playing firefight on Halo, uh, then you're going to like survival mode. I actually liked firefight. It was kind of fun. So I may like survival mode, but I don't know. Hope You know, I have a feeling that it's going to be good. Um, Modern Warfare 3, the developers, uh, Treyar <laughs> not Treyarch, Infinity Ward, they have a lot to, um, to recover, you know, they, they fucked up Modern Warfare 2, half of them got fired, so they're gonna be given. hopefully they're gonna be giving this game their all, because they want you to be, they want you to buy Modern Warfare 3, so, to be honest, I think Modern Warfare 3 is gonna be amazing, whatever they do, and if not, well, you know, kind of predicted it won't be. Um, but, you know, I have a feeling, I have high hopes, and I think they won't let us down, so it should be a lot of fun. Dear Corey, you are awesome, and I hope you will make a quad live gameplay of the map 5, since you only have one that was viral, and you are the best commentator. Well, thanks. Um, I don't know if I'll do that, but I might. And if I do do it, um, there probably won't be commentary on it, so it will just be a quad gameplay, and uh, me doing Q&As, because there's a lot of questions. How sure are you about the fourth map pack for Black Ops? So where did you hear about it? Um, I've heard about it for, from everyone. Um, there's gameplay. There's not gameplay. There's uh, footage out there of people seeing the other maps now. You know, I heard a long time ago when while wow, Black Ops came out that there's going to be four DLCs. And, uh, yeah, so this would be the fourth one. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But, uh, you know, Treyarch might want to do themselves up, you know, uh, because World of War had three DLCs, so they wanted to bring out another one. Uh, but yeah, I guess it all depends on whether or not uh, the DLC does good, which I'm pretty sure uh, third DLC did good, so uh, they might. But uh, you know, it's just rumors. So I don't know. I don't know. Do you gr do you agree with planking? Uh, do I agree that it's stupid or do I agree that it's awesome? Um, I don't plank. I didn't know what it was, and uh, it's pretty stupid. Really? Um, why? I, I I just don't know. What happened to Nate or Tater? Um, I don't know what you mean by that. He's fine. I actually talked to him today. And, uh, next question, what happened to Martin? Uh, he's fine. I actually talked to him the other day. Who is your favorite commentator? Um, I like Tabes, and I like... But Tabes, Tabes is just funny. And uh, I like Woody's Gamertag, and I, I like to hear what Woody has to say. So, in an intellectual commentator, I like Woody. As a funny kind of guy, I like Tabes. Not saying that Tabes is an idiot or anything, I'm just saying he's, he's funny. Woody's funny, too, but Woody has more knowledge because he's a billion years old. Will you do achievement videos monthly or weekly or not at all? Um, I kind of stayed away from achievement videos because no matter what achievement video I do, uh, Rooster Teeth probably already did it and they're going to get all the views. Um, now I have le had comments where it's like, hey, you're better than Rooster Teeth. You actually explained it, which makes me feel good inside. But I don't know. I'll just stick to commentaries, I guess. That's what I like to do. And yeah. What is your favorite Nazi zombie map and gun? Uh, when you say Nazi, do you mean World at War? Because that would be rucked. And my favorite gun would be, uh, I don't know, hmm. I like the MP40, it was overpowered, especially in zombies, uh, but the Thompson was a lot of fun. If I ever play on the zombie maps, I usually grab the Thompson, um, and, and yeah. First of all, you're awesome, well thank you. And I've always tried to be friends with big Call of Duty players, you're my favorite. Is there any chance of you adding me on Xbox Live? 
Uh, the chances of that are, let's see, I have 50,000 subscribers, about 25,000 of them actually watch my videos every now and then. Uh, so your odds, there are 100 spots. So uh, do the math, maybe. <laughs> Hi, Corey. Love your videos. Just wondering if you knew what happened to XDOS. He hasn't been posting videos for about a week. About two weeks. Uh, actually, no, that's not true. He posted one today. Um, so watch that, vi that video. He'll tell you what happened. Hi, Corey. I'm a big fan. I want to do a commentary like you, but I'm afraid that I won't be good. And what should I do? P.S. You're awesome. Uh, just do it. You know, most likely your first commentary is going to be shit. Obviously. Uh, but you can also take tips and tips and knowledge and learn from the commentators out there. Uh, when I started commentating, CNNers was the only one. And all I learned from CNNers was put up good gameplay and talk over it. So I don't know. You just, just, just do it. And, uh, you know, you just go from there. <laughs> I don't know what to really say. Just go from there. Hey Corey, you're the best commentator on YouTube, just saying. I want to know if you watch baseball, and if you do, what's your favorite team? No, I don't watch sports, really. I find sports boring. Um, now, I, I, I just find anything, watching anything, kind of boring, I guess. Like, right now, if there was no commentary on this video, I probably wouldn't watch it. Now, there are some, you know, some, if there's a new game coming out, like if Modern Warfare 3 came out, and no one else had gameplay but one person, and he wasn't talking over it, I'd watch it. And, uh, but to me... There's no knowledge behind what's happening on baseball or basketball or football. Like, you're not learning anything from it except for is this team going to be this team. And to me, I don't find that fun. Um, to me, the Call of Duty community was amazing because Fwiz and Hutch were talking over it. Um, now, I know there's probably people like that that talk over it, but I really don't care about them. You know, I care about the commentators. I care about Call of Duty. So that was fun to me, but if it would have just been them live streaming them playing, I wouldn't have watched it. And that's boring. So no, I don't really follow any sports. Who is better at zombies and online? Nate or Martin? Eh, I don't know. Go ask him. What's your favorite game of all time? P.S. I think that's cool how you give some of your money to charity. Um, I don't give my money to charity. I kind of give my guy my money to you guys. Uh, and kind of, you know, like we always donate money to charities and stuff like that. But like, oh, let's solve cancer. Now, my grandma died from cancer, so hopefully, you know, people do do donate to cancer but I'm just saying charities like that but they always forget about the people that don't have problems that just don't have money you know there's a lot of homeless people and you know we're always giving our money to other country well saying we are I don't know if we actually do probably spend it on hookers I don't know uh, but you know I just think that yes it's good to give to charities but you got to remember to give to other people as well not just the people that have problems you know there's a lot of people out there so but yeah uh, will you ever make a, a, a favorite game of all time with Zelda Ocarina of Time? Will you ever make a giveaway for PS3? Yes, uh, in August, starting August 1st, I will announce my giveaway for, well, I guess I'm kind of announcing it now, but for my giveaway of Gears of War 3 for Xbox 360, and then I'm giving away Dead Island for PS3 because Gears of War 3 is only an Xbox game. Hey, Corey, do you have Left 4 Dead 2? I would really like to see you do some commentary on it. PS, you're awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, no, I, I had I had uh, Left 4 Dead 2, but I gave it away. It wasn't that fun. Uh, the first one was alright. The second one was, you know, it could have been DLC. That's just my opinion. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't as fun as uh, people hype it up to be, and I just didn't enjoy it. Hey, Corey, just wanted to ask, what do you think about doing now... Wait. What do you think you'd be doing now job-wise if things didn't work out so well with Machinima? Also, I am a female subscriber, and I was wondering if you had many subscribers which were females. I actually do have a lot of female subscribers. Um, a lot of them don't really announce their uh, females, um, but a lot, you know, others do. So I, I try to talk to you all, I guess, equally. Uh, but I do know I actually checked my uh, my demographic today, and it says 17% are female. Uh, that's up from I think 7% about six months ago. So I guess I'm playing girly games now, or maybe I just got in touch with my feminine side, and you all are like, ooh. I don't know. And as for job-wise, I really don't know. It was to the point where I was almost homeless. And, uh, and yeah, so I don't know. Uh, but I'm glad things worked out, I guess. So, kind of glad I don't have to know. Have you ever farted so hard you broke a blood vessel on your eye? Uh, no. Um, you got a problem if you're doing that. What is your favorite zombie map? Verruckt. Game vids, do you see yourself doing YouTube within 10 years? As long as YouTube's around and you guys are watching, probably... And uh, that'd be awesome. Uh, but that's going to be the last question for this video because it's about to end. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I have 
four other videos to do questions over which I'll do next so I won't know if you liked it or not but I hope you do and I'll talk to you guys later and have a great day you can ask your questions at gamevids.com ask